my internal monologue was, I really, 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 really hate myself. I mean, it's basically the story of me coming to New York with such high hopes and just crashing into a pit of neurosis and self-loathing. I wanted to do the New York artist thing. I wanted to achieve all my dreams, uh, have an artistic community, be Patti Smith, you know, CBGB, everything. Six months in the big city and it's not going like my vision board said it would. The idea of personifying a vision board, being frustrated at the vision board. Kind of being like, hey, I'm supposed to have all these things now. It was funny to me. I know I should see people when I get like this, but it's 275 each way. It's like a fake excuse. Oh, 275 is too much. Like, no, you just don't want to see anyone. When I get in a bad place, I tend to isolate myself. I think that I'm a burden. I don't have a right to be upset because other people have it worse. Dollar pizza wounded lion, then I finally make me leave my bed. Dollar pizza to me is like a mascot of New York City. I mean, a lion, to, a lion is filled with symbolism. One of the most interesting things about the self-confidence of a Leo is that it is known to, to waver to go up and go down. I was messed up, but still proud. And that pride was part of what kept me from asking for help. At night I run to the hill at Fort Tryon and I stand and make me say to me. I keep saying make because it's like forcing yourself to do something, even if you're helping yourself when you spend so much time in a dark place, it starts to become familiar and it becomes home. And to break yourself out of it is going against inertia and it's painful. And we all know it would not be an indie song if you don't have uh, Running Up That Hill Kate Bush reference. I love you, 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 I love you and again. I ended up getting to like the self-help ladies of YouTube. And they like talk about crystals and tarot and mantras and affirmations. And I was offended at the affirmations. I thought it was so stupid. I can just repeat something to myself like a wacko and then it'll start to be true. I'll start to feel better. I It like made me mad. But the more messed up I got, the more... I just wanted to try anything. My forehead on the ground, oh, I love you, I love you. Grind my salt cheekbones. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you and can. I wanted to say that I was crying without saying crying or tears. You know how at a restaurant there's those like salt and pepper grinders like <laughs> People talk about salty tears on their cheeks, so I wanted to mix together that, that the violence of the <laughs> and kind of what I was doing on the ground with my face. And also when I say cheekbones, it makes me feel fierce. <laughs> I'm ashamed that the little green man in the sky can see me from above. I think it's interesting when you feel like embarrassed ashamed and there's not even anyone else around. Who are you afraid is judging you? I thought it was funny to think of like aliens in the sky, like seeing me from their little spaceship and being like, this guy, <laughs> like this guy needs help. Like this is sad, dude. <laughs> like the aliens from the Simpsons, I think is what I was thinking. <laughs> and I lay and I let the concrete form Patterns on my arms and legs. I think of childhood. I think of uh, recess and how you would just lay around and talk and then get up and, and see the patterns on your skin. I wanted that feeling of 
childhood and innocence and, and um, helplessness to be in the song. And I also wanted to show the passage of time. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you till the end. When I can remember, I say it to myself when I feel like the, the volume of the self-hate in my head being turned up, I try to go back to, to saying this to myself and, and trying to connect back to what's underneath all of, all of the noise. My favorite thing is when people tell me that they also sing the chorus to themselves when they're like feeling some type of way. I want it to be like a tool. It's just so sad to me that from the moment we enter society, we're bombarded with messages to hate ourselves and it works. All of this stuff is in our bodies, no matter how aware we are of how it got there, we can, in, we can intellectualize something without internalizing it and hate ourselves even though we know we shouldn't. How do you get that stuff out of your body?